in Christ. Today we celebrate Thursday, fifth week of Lent. Let us include in our prayers the following intentions. For the thanksgiving of Engineer Rogelio and Mary Elizabeth Magat and children, Lito and Lori Zapanta, Michelle, Mark, and Lila Rivera, Marlon, Joyce, and Ira Tagdol. For the birthday thanksgiving of Katrina Camille Gozon, Roda Mercado, Paul Arroyal. For the special intentions of Lamberto Panlaki, Abigail, Rain, Augusto Mamangun, Mark Homer Munoz, Herminio Lynette Nukumen family, Bernie and Baby Henson and family, Phil and Janet Castro and family, Eleanor Ventura, Hermie Robes, Armon and Mariette Nang, Rosanna Reyes, Jimmy and Inday Santo Domingo, Patrick and Sara Gawinkun. For healing, speedy recovery, and good health of Father Sol Gabriel, Victor Nakpil, Cos Cosete Aguas, Diosdado San Pedro, Luisa Lising, Carmen Jacinto Punzalan, Katrina Sayat Roque, May Cabrera, Pepito Nickdao Sr., Albert Songko, Engineer, Engineer Florita de la Cruz, Angelito Miguel, Rafael Montes, Robert Yabot Jr., Jennifer Soriano, Divina Gracia Carbonco, Angelo Quizon, Edel Umlas, Eler Vitug, Gloria Panlilio, Ernesto Dizon, and those whom we pray for healing. For the eternal repose of the souls of Democrito Aison, Martin Angeles, Charles Henry Espiritu, Victor Derit, Esteban Sanchez, Remedios Saldana Kalilong, Rita Kalilong Hutgardo, Rico Kalilong, Christopher Glenn Binuya Quizon, 
Henemino in Asuncion of Las, Carmencita Valdez, Nine Days, Faustino Santa Maria Jr., Luciana Olalia, Elena Parico, Vicente and Ellen Tantamco, Alex Resurrection, Alejandro and Milagros Resurrection, Maria Teresa Morales, Magno and Francesca Hippolito, and our pool souls in purgatory. Let us all rise and glorify the Lord by singing our entrance hymn. of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good evening po. Good evening po, Amo. Dear brothers, dear sisters, let us offer this Mass with uh, the whole church, those who are here and those uh, praying with us in the online Mass. Let us be thankful for the Lord for His promises, for there will be a great tomorrow for all of us if we remain faithful like Abraham. For the times that we have sinned, we ask the Lord for pardon. Together we pray, I confess, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly seen in my thoughts and in my words, 
in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most given fault. Therefore, as Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Please remember your prayer, your petition in our Mass. Be near, O Lord, to those who plead before you, and look kindly at those who place their hope in your mercy, that cleanse from the stain of their sins, they may persevere in holy living and be made full heirs of your promise. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Liturgy of the Word. A reading from the book of Genesis. When Abram prostrated himself, God spoke to him, My covenant with you is this, You are to become the father of a host of nations. No longer shall you be called Abram, Your name shall be Abraham. For I am making you the father of a host of nations, I will render you exceedingly fertile. I will make nations of you. Kings shall stem from you. I will maintain my covenant with you and your descendants after you throughout the ages as an everlasting path to be your God and the God of your descendants after you. I will give to you and to your descendants after you the land in which you are now staying the whole land of Canaan as a permanent possession, and I will be their God. God also said to Abraham, On your part, you and your descendants after you must keep my covenant throughout the ages. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord remembers covenant forever. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds that he has wrote, his portents and the judgments he has uttered. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. You descendants of Abram, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he, the Lord is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He remembers forever his covenant, which he made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham and by his oath to Isaac. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Please all stand to honor the Holy Gospel. Glory to you, o Word of God. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to you, o Word of God. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. All together, please. If today you hear His voice, harden not your hearts. Glory to you, O Word of God. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to you, O Word of God. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jews 
Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever keeps my word will never see death. So the Jews said to him, Now we are sure that you are possessed. Abraham died as the prophets, yet you say, Whoever keeps my word will never taste death. Are you greater than our father Abraham who died? Or the prophets who died? Who do you make yourself out to be? Jesus answered, If you glorify myself, my glory is worth nothing. But if my father who glorifies me, of whom you say is our God, you do not know him, but I know him. And if you should say that I do not know him, I would be like you, a liar. But I do know him and keep his word. Abraham, your father, rejoiced to see my day. He saw it and was glad. So the Jews said to him, You are not yet fifty years old, and you have seen Abraham. Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, before Abraham came to be, I am. So they pick up stones to throw at him, but Jesus hid and went out into his temple area. So, my, dear, my dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to your Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The promise of God to Abram. Dito po sa ating Evangelio, God promised Abraham, My covenant with you is this, will become a father of host of nations. No longer shall be called Abram, but your name would become Abraham. For I am making you father and host of nations. You will render exceeding fertility, will make nations of you. Kings shall stem from you. I will maintain my covenant with you and your descendants and offer you throughout the ages an everlasting pact and to your God and the God of your descendants after you. This is a great promise of God to Abraham. Ikaw ay magiging ama ng maraming mga bansa. This is a promise of a future greatness of Abraham. Parang ang Diyos ay may vision para kay Abraham. Magandang kinabukasan mo. Hindi lang ngayon sa kinabukasan. Minsan nagmimisa tayo ngayon. Nagpapasalamat kayo. Birthday. Papasalamat kayo sa birthday natin. Kanina may pinagmisa kong uh, kumpanya. 14 years. Papasalamat sila for 14 years. Papasalamat tayo sa wedding anniversary. Limbawa, 10 years wedding anniversary. Pero ito ang sinasabi ng Diyos ang magandang kinabukasan, ang magandang paroroonan, the promise of God to Abraham. And indeed, naging totoo. Itong pangako ni, ng Diyos kay Abraham, sabi niya, magkakaroon ka ng maraming anak. Hindi lang anak na physical na anak, anak sa pananampalataya, faithful children. Di ba, nung bata-bata pa tayo, mayroon pa tayong kinakanta, itatang Abraham, eh, <laughs> Dakal lang anak na, dakal lang anak ng tatang Abraham. <laughs> so, this, this uh, song is for us all to sing because we take part in that faith experience in God the Father. Ang anak ng mga Abraham ay anak ng pananampalataya sa Diyos. He was a faithful man to God. Kaya sabi nga, Abraham is the father of faith. Say ama ng pananampalataya. And when there is faithfulness, there will be abundance. There will be greatness. Siguro, mayroong paghihirap ng konti, sakripisyo, pero pag di ka bumibitaw sa iyong pagtitiwala sa Diyos, ang iyong pagbibigay ng sariling maging tapat, mas maraming darating na pagpapala. Si Santa Teresa ng Calcutta, Mother Teresa of Calcutta, mayroon siyang sinabi minsan, sabi niya, I do not pray that you will be successful. I pray that you will be faithful. Hindi ko pinagdarasal na magiging kang matagumpay. Ang pinagdarasal ko sa iyo, magiging tapat ka. Sabi ko sa sarili ko, medyo bata-bata akong pare, 
wala namang masama sa nagiging matagumpay, di ba? Mas maganda siguro, matagumpay, tapos tapat. Pero parang sinasabi ni Mother Teresa sa kanyang quotation, una muna yung katapatan bago yung tagumpay. Kasi pag nauna yung tagumpay, pero hindi ka naman tapat, kanino ka uuwi? Para kanino yung tagumpay mo? For whom would you be sharing your success? Kung hindi ka naman naging tapat sa pamilya mo o sa sarili mo. Pero pag sinasabi mong magiging tapat ka, when you are faithful, all other expressions of success will follow. Basta tapat ka lang, yung iba't ibang klaseng tagumpay ay darating sa iyo. Kumisan kasi, iniisip lang natin yung tagumpay, yung maraming pera, malaking negosyo, o siguro sinasabi din natin, yung expression ng tagumpay, mayaman. Pero that is just a small part of success. Financial, material, economic success. Mayroon pang ibang klaseng tagumpay. Ano yon? Peace of mind. Yung masarap ang tulog mo. Mapayapa ang kalooban mo. Masaya ang pamilya mo. Magandang pangangatawan mo. Wala kang sakit. Joy in your family. Masayang pamilya. And people are happy for you. Pag nakikita ka ng mga tao, sa, ang swerte ko naman, nandito ka. Masaya kami when you are around. With fidelity, other forms of success will follow. That is the success of Abraham. His fidelity to God. Ang kanyang katapatan sa Diyos na natili siya. Hindi siya bumitaw. And he was blessed by God, not only by a nation, but more people out of faith and more graces followed. This is the promise of Abraham. This is the promise of God to Abraham. At naniniwala din po ako, ito yung pangako ng Diyos sa ating lahat. If we remain faithful to God, He will remain faithful to us and He will always be faithful. At hindi na tayo pababayaan. There will be more graces to come. Parang sinasabi niya kay Abraham, Masaya ka na ba, Abraham, sa mga anak mo at ariyarian mo? Huwag kang magalala, Abraham. Mas marami pa ang darating. Parang sinabi niya, You ain't seen nothing yet. Hindi mo pa nakita lahat ang tagumpay na bibigay ko sa iyo. Parang sinasabi niya kay Abraham sa kanyang pangako, siguro kung re-rephrase ko kay, kay sa Diyos na sinabi niya, Abraham, the best is yet to come. Because you are faithful to me. May God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please all stand. The Lord's covenant with Abraham is perfected in the new covenant that Jesus established at the Last Supper. Let us pray that the Lord will show us His steadfast love because of the covenant. For every prayer we shall answer, Lord, help us. To be faithful. Tayo po lahat. Lord, help us to be faithful. Lord, you made the covenant of peace with Abraham and his descendants. Grant that we may live in peace and tranquility in our days. We pray. Lord, help us to be faithful. You told Abraham that he would be the father of all nations. Grant that peoples may belong to Jesus Christ and become Abraham's descendants and heirs According to the promise, we pray. Lord, help us to be faithful. Abraham rejoiced to see the day of the Messiah and Savior. Let, let us be close to Jesus as he suffers for our salvation, we pray. Lord, help us to be faithful. Jesus died to destroy our death and rose again to restore our life. May we die to our sinful selves and live us new creation through the sacrament of baptism, we pray. Lord, help us to be faithful. Whoever keeps Jesus' word will never see death. Give to our departed brothers and sisters the joy of an ending life, we pray. Lord, help us to be faithful. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Grant, O merciful God, 
that we may be worthy to participate in the Paschal mysteries of your Son and be saved through them. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Liturgy of the Eucharist. Lord, we gather today in your house. We kneel down and pray. We ask for your mercy as we open our hearts to receive your forgiveness, O oh Lord. Lord. Up to you, all this gifts we offer for your glory. We will live this living bread, we will drink this saving cup, and fill your presence, O oh Lord, as we offer this bread. As we bring you this one, bless them, Lord Jesus. Feed us now, give us life. Send us your spirit, the source of our lives, and together we will serve you with love. Pray, my dear friends, that the sacrifice may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look with favor, Lord, we pray on these sacrificial offerings that they may profit our conversion and the salvation of all the world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through bodily fasting, you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its red rewards through Christ our Lord and through him with all the angels and all the saints praising your majesty may our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Please all stand. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be carried into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Sorrentino, our Archbishop, and all the priests and our friends who serve you in our church. Remember also our brothers and our sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, we pray with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and Saints of Plesio throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to call God our Father. Our Father, who art in Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I give you peace, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Grant us the peace, the unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We greet each other with a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, take us away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. So Christ said 
sanctify me body of Christ save me water from the side of Christ wash me passion of Christ give me strength hear me Jesus, hide me in thy wounds that I may never leave thy side. From all the evil that surrounds me, defend me. And when the call of death arrives, bid me come to thee that I may praise thee with thy saints forever hear me Jesus hide me in thy wounds that I may never leave thy side from all the evil that surrounds me defend me and when call of death arrives bid me come to thee that I may praise thee with thy Let us pray. Please all stand. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, O Lord, that by this sacrament by which you feed us in this present age, you may make us partakers of eternal life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bukas po yung misa natin hindi dito sa simbahan. Yung misa po natin 5.30 dun sa may chapel ng uh, Baliti, sa may uh, Miller Estate. At uh, magkakaroon po tayo ng Station of the Cross from uh, Purok uh, sa East, dun sa harapan ng uh, bahay ni na kong Noel Maniti, sa harap ng high school, uh, high school compound. And then, and they will be guided by the EMDC for the for the station of the cross. I will bless you and our family. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessings of Almighty God rest upon you, your family, and your loved ones. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Remain faithful to God. He's always faithful to us. And He will bless you as He blessed Abraham the Father of all nations, the Father of faith. Our Mass is offered. Thanks, Thanks be to God. We open our hearts and we praise you, Lord. By your cross you say the world. Forgive us our sins, have mercy on us. Teach us to love you, O oh Lord. 